John, last year was a fabulous year for Cork City. Uh, expectations now was probably to win the Champions League. So, uh, how do you how do you feel? Uh, you just can build on last year. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, in Cork there's a lot of hype, but um, you know we know it's very very difficult. Yeah, last year was f- f- fantastic for us. We've tried to strengthen our squad. Um, I felt our strength and depth last year wasn't good, and uh, we needed to, to strengthen our squad. And obviously, the fact that this year we have um, Europe and plus Satanta, we have extra games. Um, but still, I think it's going to be a really competitive league because obviously Sligo have strengthened, Rovers have strengthened, and um, the Dock and Pats are going to be there as well. And um, from that point of view, you know it's going to be a really, really uh, exciting league, I think. But at the same time, from my point of view, I'd certainly hope that we can uh, stay in the top, top three or four. Last year, you brought a load of uh, talented young guys in, and they did really, really well. Now you've had a little bit of experience to go with that. Can you tell us about the overall mix of your squad? Yeah, I suppose, you know, a lot of the lads that came through last year, younger guys, I'm hoping that after having their first year in, in, in football, you know, that they can kick on and they can deal with the pressure of, you know, playing in Cork and the big crowds. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that obviously we brought in um, as well then Liam Miller, who, who, you know, who's played at the highest level. And, you know, we're hoping he'll bring a lot of experience, you know, which, which already at pre-season he's done. Um, obviously, Alan Bennett has come back, who knows the league very well. So, um, you know, I'm just, I suppose, from that point of view, you know, and then we brought in a few players like Carl Shepherd, Gavin Hoolan, Karen Jalali, you know, first time in Cork, and, you know, they can see the setup down there, which is quite good. And, um, you know, so I'm just hoping overall that the younger players will step up to the mark after last year, and obviously the older players, you know, I'm quite sure they'll pass on valuable experience. Turners Cross, uh, over the years, Every Cork team has tried to make it a fortress, and but everyone loves playing there because of the atmosphere. How much of an asset do you think it is to your team? Yeah, I think, look, you, you always hear that from League of Ireland players down through the years. They always love coming to play in Cork. <clears throat> and there's no doubt, like, I think the, the, the type of stadium it is where you're literally, the, sport, the spectators are on the pitch. It's fantastic, and it's the ideal you know, stadium for League of Ireland. And I suppose, from that point of view, there are, there are the pressures for us, but there's no doubt that, you know, when you can bring in four and a half, five and a half, six and a half thousand people, you know, it creates an unbelievable atmosphere and there's no doubt it does, it does help us and, but at the same time, you know, Cork supporters are fussy because they have a big choice of other sports and um, if you're not doing well, you won't, they won't follow you. So the challenge for us this year is to see, can we stay up near the top and keep the big crowds coming? So um, that's what we're hoping to do. And, um, you know, I think it's good for League of Ireland football in general to have clubs like Derry, Sligo, Cork, you know, Limerick, um, Lamford are back in, obviously, at Lone Road, but I think it's good to have a lot of provincial clubs because they attract a lot of support. And just on uh, Liam Miller's arrival, like, there's been great excitement. People are delighted to see another experienced international in our league. Yeah. Can you tell us how he's settled in so far and what interaction he's had with the lads and how you felt that's gone so far? Yeah, Liam's been brilliant. He's a very quiet lad. Since, since he's arrived off the plane in Australia, he's trained every day, has a missing training session, really, really fit, um, a lot of composure on the ball. But the challenge for Liam is that even though he's played at the highest level, you know, he will get a lot of attention in our league. And, you know, he's trying to be able to cope with that. And I suppose, you know, you look at Keith came back last year, Keith Fahey, Stephen McPhail. You know, it takes them a while to adjust. It's not as simple that you just get off the plane and all of a sudden you're going to be a star in our league. It doesn't work. It's not that easy. And because uh, you are high profile and you get a lot of attention, so but still at the same time, um, because Liam has played at top level, you know I think he should do he should do well. I think it's great for the league to have these guys coming in because uh, they certainly raise the profile and it just shows that our league, you know, the standard wise, all the top teams, it's very very good and very very competitive. You know, and while, while the league takes a lot of cris- criticism on the outside, I think the genuine people who follow the league and the media that follow it, you know, they give a great coverage. And I think they understand that the league is you know in a good place and there's um, the standard is very high.